is when Jacob had to fight, right? Jacob would have had to fight all my life. I had Jacob had to fight. He had to fight for his wife. He had to fight uh, for his life. He had to fight because Esau wanted to kill him and was going to kill him. If y'all had not intervened, Esau would have killed him. And you got to get into other texts to really see Esau was not playing. Not playing. Okay? And so, we got to understand that there are trials, there are tribulations. Um, and, but that doesn't mean that you aren't blessed. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to, I'm looking and trying to talk at the same time when I should just be finding where y'all told me to find. Hold on for a second, please. Got it. Found it. Bless y'all for all things. All right. Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until the break of dawn. When he perceived that he could not overcome him, he struck the socket of his hip. Jacob was determined. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying like, yo, you got to be intentional about a relationship with the Most High. Not only from things that he requires of us, but also the things that he doesn't require. That's why That's why there were such things as a, um, you have all of these offerings and sacrifices. But you also had offerings and sacrifices of your own. Free will offering. Okay? Bless y'all. And so, you have to understand that a relationship with the Most High isn't passive. It's not just, oh, I'm sitting and I'm reading. No, you have to actively, you have to actively seek Yah. And fight. It's a fight, bro. It's a fight. It's a fight. When he perceived that he could not overcome him. When Yah sees how serious you are, that regardless of what come what may, Abba, I'm coming after you. Regardless of what I'm coming after you, you are my desire. When he perceived that he could not overcome him, he struck the socket of his hip. So Jacob's hip socket was dislocated as he wrestled with him. Still wrestling, still. He had a disadvantage, a disability, a, a blow. Whatever you want to call it, whatever your situation is, whatever your circumstance is, whatever, whatever you want to label as a reason why you can't pursue y'all like you need to be, like you should be, like you should desire to. As he wrestled with him. So even though he had this going on, he still was actively pursuing y'all. Then he said, let me go for dawn has broken. And he, he who? Jacob. Said to him, him who? Read your word and find out. What is your name? He replied, Jacob. This is as we're wrestling. This is going on as he is actively seeking Yah, enduring, persevering, smacking every obstacle in the face. You will not keep me from the seat, from the feet of my Abba. You will not keep me from walking in obedience. You will not keep me from worshiping and praising. You will not keep me from being who he called me to be, actively being who he called me to be. He replied, Jacob, he, he who, read your word to find out, bless y'all for all things. No longer will it be said that your name is Jacob, but your name shall be Yashrael. Who has, there's only one that has the authority to call you, but all right now. But your name shall be Yashrael, for you have striven with the divine, is what this word says, and with man and have overcome. That lets you know there are going, not only do trials and tribulations and challenges and experiences and situations come from man, but they come from our Abba. With the divine and from man and you have overcome. I don't know what else to I don't know what else I need to say not even I don't know what else to say I don't know what else I need to say where are you where are you this is why Adam and Shava were asked where they were in the garden not because y'all didn't know where they were know who they were but to allow them to where are you where are you that this is your thinking? Where are you 
that this is your way of living? Where are you that this is your way of being? Where are you that these are the type of requests you make to me? Like, this is what you're asking me for? I'm the Almighty. I am the Sovereign One. Power and authority as it is, is mine. And this is what you're asking me for. I have the power to make you exactly who I created you to be. And this what you coming at me behind? I have the power to take you and allow you to free other people who are enduring. And this is what you this is what you asking me for. I'm not saying that you can't ask y'all for that. Because let me get to that. I'm not saying that you shouldn't ask y'all for that. Where is it? That is not what I am saying. 25. This is 19 to 23. Genesis chapter 25. 19 to 23. So I'm going to read you. Where is it? All right, right here. This stuck out and it's important and is relevant to what I'm saying right now. I'm not saying that you shouldn't seek y'all for those things that are dear and near to your heart. I'm I'm saying where is your heart, right? Because if it, your heart is in the right place, the things that are near and dear to your heart will be those things that are near and dear to the heart of our Abba. Okay. This is what it says, and I'm just going to read you exactly what it says. You take from it the important parts and disregard the trash, okay? The sages note that the matriarchs, Sarah, Rebecca, and Rachel were barren. Okay? Barren. The commentators explain that their experiences prove that the emergence, the emergence of Yashrael, well, it says Israel, is a miracle. For each new generation was a gift of Yah to a mother who could not have given birth naturally. Their experience is a demonstration of the dictum that Yah desires the prayers of the righteous, whose pleas for heavenly mercy and attempts at self-improvement show how human beings can raise themselves to spiritual heights. I'm not saying that you shouldn't pray and ask Yah to deliver you. I'm not saying that you shouldn't pray and ask Yah to cleanse your womb and cleanse your mind and cleanse your heart. Those are the things you should be praying for. I'm not saying that you shouldn't ask Yah to make you um, aware of your spending habits. So that when he blesses you or provides, right? When he gives you the provision necessary to live a life without lack. You don't blow it. That's not what I'm saying. Those are the things that you should pray for. Understand? I hope you're listening. Bless y'all. I hope we are listening. What we pray for, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you have to understand what it is that you're saying. Because sometimes we can fool ourselves and thinking that we're doing things righteously and we're not. I'm not saying that you shouldn't want your house fixed up. I'm not saying that you shouldn't want a nice car, a reliable car, as some people, you know what I mean? Some people don't want nice cars. Some people couldn't care less. Some just want a car to get from A to B. But the heart from which these things are desired, the one, the heart that is speaking and requesting these things, how is that heart conditioned? What is that heart? What is the foundation of that heart? Are you asking this? Why are you asking this? That's that's I'm gonna leave it at that. Why are you asking this? Is it for self improvement? Okay. Is it for self improvement? Is it to reach a spiritual height in Yah, or are you just trying to eliminate the pressure of what you feeling right now? Are you just trying to remove the discomfort? Is it about you or is it about Yah? And really ask yourself that. Don't just say, no, it's about Yah. No. <laughs> it's Because for most of us, it's not. It's about us. That's why. Why do you quarrel? Do you war within yourself? You ask and you do not receive. Why? 
because you are asking for selfish gain. This has absolutely nothing to do with the most high. Because if it did, you wouldn't even be asking about a car. Because you would know. Uh, but if a car is a part of this, cool. If a car is not a part of this, cool. Because my desire is you, regardless. Show me me. Reveal, reveal to me the contents of my heart. So that I may worship you in spirit and in truth. And be righteous when I open my mouth and worship you. As you have called me righteous. I'm going to make me who I need to be so those who hear me and see me will know you. That's your, that's what you should be asking for. That should be the concerns of your heart. Do Am I saying that you should want to live in a tent in the back of, of what, what store? Walgreens or Target or Wegmans or Harris Heater. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is if that is what Yah has for you, you should be able to do that and do that confidently knowing that Yah is in control. I have had much and I have had little. Regardless of either one, Yah is great and worthy to be praised. And his praises shall continuously be in my mouth. Though he slay me, yet will I, yet shall I, yet am I. Going to do what? Moan and groan and murmur and no. No, absolutely not. Praise him. Do I want anything to happen to anybody that I love? Absolutely not. Do I want anything to happen to me? Absolutely not. Do I want y'all to toss the promises that he has made me out the window? Absolutely not. Are, do those things. Is my relationship with the most high contingent on those? Nah. Nah. It can't be. And for a lot of us, it is, which is why we experience life the way that we do. Because our relationship with y'all has too many contingencies. He didn't already told you, you can't love your mama more than me. You can't love your daddy more than me. You can't love your children more than me. You can't love your, your spouse more than me. You can't love yourself more than me. So if y'all feels like that, and he didn't give it to us like that, why do you think that it's just he's just going to just forget that part that he made? Like, I know I said that, but never mind. No, he says he tells you how can two walk together unless they be agreed. Like, I'm about my father's business is what Yahushua Hamashiach said. And that's what we need to be saying too. So if my father about his business and I'm about his business, then we can walk together. But if I'm about my father, if my father is about his business and I'm about my own business and stop thinking that just because you, you not getting drunk every weekend and you not watching people cussing and, and killing and you're not watching porn and all of that you walking with y'all. Cause I don't mean, no, no. You can be kind and considerate and generous and tolerant and wicked all at the same time. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? How can you walk with Yah unless you are in agreement with everything that Yah has said? You can't be. It's impossible. Because a man cannot serve two, two gods. Does he love one and hate the other? Yours might say masters. A man cannot serve two masters unless he love one and hate the other. Hello, dog. You hot? You can't. We can't. Okay? All right. And so, like I said, um, what makes you different? And we were talking about a blessing. So, let's go ahead and get that. I'm closing this up now because I'm going to just... How I'm gonna just run down what we ha what I have because uh, sometimes we look at people's trials and we assume that they aren't walking with Yah and that's not the case. Sometimes we look at people's circumstances and situations and experiences and how long Yah is taking to do things. It said that Abraham was a hundred when he when Sarah had Isaac a hundred. 
he was 75 though when y'all first spoke to him and told him to come find me for yourself 75 to 100 is what 25 years 25 years of searching y'all for him finding y'all for himself going his own way towards our abba before it looked like to other people what y'all was saying to him before it seemed like before other people were able to say oh now i see y'all in 25 years of faithfulness so not only was he enduring internally he was also enduring physically i know sarah has something to say it is not recorded but i know she did Shoot, I know Abraham has something to say. It's not recorded, but I know that he did. It talks about when Sarah laughed, and it talks about some of the things that Abraham did, but we have to understand that these are people. These are real people. This is not just some story, and these are real people with real experiences and real emotions. This is why y'all told Abraham, Abraham, go find me for yourself away from all of that, because if you do it around here, boy, it's going to be tough for you. That's why I said what I said about don't make, bro, don't make it hard for people trying to follow y'all. Like, why would you do it? It's hard enough in this world, in this age, in this generation, in this time. It's hard enough just to want to follow y'all. Then you got people on the outside trying to make it hard for you to do so. Yes, there are spirits. Yes, there's demonic presence, but they have to, you have to be susceptible to that. You have to be susceptible to that. You have to, there has to be an opening. This is why y'all says, don't give the wicked any type of opening. Like, don't put yourself, guard your mind, guard your house, guard your heart, guard your lips. Shoot, yes, guard your house too. All of these gates and all of these openings, you need to be responsible for guarding at, the, at all times. Why? Because if you let one in, baby, he's going to invite how many more? And so you keep playing with it and keep tiptoeing and keep... You saw what happened to Dina. What happened? She wanted to go see. Am I saying she was right or wrong? Absolutely not. Because I don't know the whole story. I know in the Book of Jubilees, it did go into a little bit more detail. And based on that, it's, she wanted to go hang with the women that was over there. And got got. We do it. We want to play a little bit. And then when things go wrong, oh my gosh, Abba, you had no business over there. You had no business with him. You had no business with her. You had no business with them. You had no business eating that. You had no business saying that. You had no business thinking that. You had no business wearing that. You had, you had no business. But then it's like, well, I didn't know. Yes, you did because I placed so-and-so in your life and they were doing what they were supposed to do. But instead of you watching them and adhering to and letting them be the example, you had a problem with how they was moving. Because it didn't suit your, it didn't tickle your fancy. They was too suited up, too, too buttoned up for you. They took y'all too serious for you. It don't got to be all of that. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Yes, it does. So, we got Abraham, right? We, we saw, we know what he had to go through. We got Jacob. He definitely went through it, right? We got Joseph. We already know Joseph went through it. How long, how long was Joseph in prison? What was Joseph in prison for? Nothing. He didn't do anything wrong. What did Jacob do? Obedience. What did Abraham do? Obedience. What did Daniel do? Obedience. What did David do? Now, now he went. I'm talking about before, before David was king. What was he doing? Minding his business with the sheep. Samuel went and got him for y'all. David was minding his business. He went from minding his business to running for his life. Unable to sleep. 
waking up in the in the trenches with his enemies all around him having to pretend he was a nutcase to save his life yo in the mountains in the trees having to have food brought to him do y'all understand what i'm saying like why do you assume that because he isn't experiencing life the way that you feel like that he should be experiencing it that he isn't walking according to the will of the most high how dare you how audacious of you y'all gonna handle all of us for that when we sit around and assume and point instead of asking y'all to deliver us and teach us we it, we gonna be held accountable for it but you better believe we are because y'all gonna be like how you so focused on them and not focused on me on you got more focus for them than me you got more time to worry about that what they are doing than me shame on you and your whole house who else isaiah ezekiel poor baby jeremiah <laughs> He was a little, little out here. Samuel too. Samuel too. You think Samuel didn't miss his mom when he was a baby over there with Eli? You think Joseph, before he was in prison, didn't cry every single day? His brothers sold him. I think sometimes we read these stories and we just push them all together and just like, oh yeah, hardship. No, this man's brother. First of all, they wanted to kill him. They plotted to kill him all for because he obeyed the Most High. They wanted to kill him because Yah called him special. Because Yah set him apart. They wanted to kill him, wanted his life. Threw him in a pit, sold him to some people, and then didn't even look back for him. Left him to die. Wanted him to die. And he had to endure all of that. My brothers... My, my mama, my daddy, this situation, my God. And he gets there and he's forgotten about again. What the cup bearer said, oh my bad, I forgot. Two years ago. Obadiah a massacre genocide has to hide in order to survive how long were we in Egypt hmm? what was going on when we were in Egypt as soon as their sons are born throw them, throw them in the water hard labor take their food from them kill them but we are the chosen people do you understand what i'm saying like i'm just trying to get us to reframe our thinking about what is and what isn't and what should be the chosen people of yah enduring you got john okay took his head off and what did Yah call John? As John, Yehokanah Hamad, what does his name mean? Beheaded. Living out in the wild, eating locusts and wild. <laughs> Chosen of the Most High. Enduring for being what? Obedient. Book of Acts, one of my favorite. Okay. Be they thought Peter was dead. They beat him so bad for his obedience and his adherence to the Most High. They beat him so bad. They thought he was dead. They mourned for him. They thought he was dead. Drug him out. Prayed over him because he thought he was dead. Beaten. They got beaten and rejoiced because it's like ah, we must be doing something all right. <laughs> How long did they endure before it looked like to other people what y'all had told them? We had 45 minutes almost. Let me go on here about my business. John 19. Then Pilate ordered Hamashiach to be brutally beaten. 
with leather straps embedded with metal. The soldiers also wove goat heads. It says thorns, but I need us to understand that it's not like these little sticker bras that if you're from over here on this side of the, of, of the world where I am, they can call them sticker bras. I think in California, that's where they call them goat heads. But it wasn't like a little, little things that we see. These were actually thorns that were so big that they were used as uh, to protect the sheep. Like at night when the shepherd would go to sleep or whatever, if they were traveling for food, you would set these uh, these thorns, these goat heads, these sticker bras, right? Around as like a sheep pen. They were that strong and and that large that it would be able to contain sheep. It would be seen as a measure for keeping them in and also keeping things out. And so the shepherd would lay where, gosh almighty, Abba, hallelujah, the shepherd would lay and then there would be, and an so like a gate, he would be the, the opening of the gate and then uh, from the crown of his head, right, all around, glo woo, 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 glory to your name, Abba, then all the way around to his feet is where you would see these sticker bras and it would keep them, like I said, in and, and, be as a shield of protection for out so it's not like these little things you know how we see um on like people's necklaces and in churches like this little no and they pressed it into his skull he was tortured to death before being put to death before people were able to see him ascend do you understand what i'm saying like before we were able to physically see oh that is the son of y'all look at what happened the veil ripped and now the sky is black and the earth and oh and, but he had been telling them for what 30 plus years well maybe not because what did he do he started at 12 right so what does that make like 20 plus years nonetheless we were able to see him walk in obedience hear him see the fruits of his walk with y'all and yet still, he ain't walking with y'all. I don't know what, I don't know who he think he walking with. It ain't looking, it don't look like y'all. What is that? What did they tell him? If you the son of y'all, if you are really him, then get a, get off the cross, as we think it is, as we think it to be. And get up. Surely you can save yourself. Surely y'all take care of you if you out here doing this and doing that and speaking this and speaking that. Surely you wouldn't have to endure, not you. Y'all get on my nerves, bro. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into uh, what it, what the word. I researched the word bless because I, there's a lot of discrepancy. And um, for your records, bless is in the Hebrew lexicon word 2039. That's blessed, blessed, ED 1480 in 2039. And blessing is also 2039. For the root word or the parent word, we're dealing with either sheen or shin. I can't, I know it's the teeth, but I don't know because one of them has a dot and one of them doesn't. We're not trying to get into that. But sheen or shin, resh, okay? And so sheen or shin, teeth, separate, tear, pressure. Resh is your intellect, your authority within, top, beginning. These words together mean press or pressed at the beginning. I probably inserted something so you can see. Press, it has absolutely, did you, pressed. At the beginning so at the start of this at the start of our relationship there's a pressing I don't know if anybody has ever seen a wine press I don't know if if you have ever seen the threshing floor I don't know if you've experienced a real relationship with the most high there's a pressing okay what do you say I I proved you read the word okay Yah has to prove some of y'all need to learn how to do that because you keep letting people in your life without proving them first. There's a proving, there's a press at the beginning, okay? Then I go to blessed. Blessed is a cord pulled tight and straight. A cord pulled tight is straight. Forgive me. Is straight, okay? One who is happy is one whose life is lived straightly. As a rope attached two objects together, this word links the action of the sentence to the one doing the action walking in a straight line on a straight and narrow path what is required in order for you to walk along a straight and narrow path i'm talking about blessed talk about blessed these words that we throw out oh they that's a blessing mm, is it says who 
That's not a blessing. It's not? Says who? Walking in a straight line. There's also a word, you know what else it says? Remnant, cord, bracelet. Okay? So I went to blessing when we got bet, resh, cough, right? It means to fill the palm. Bless is knee, kneel, bend the knee to kneel in homage or to drink water. Okay? What do what do you mean? I mean, every knee will bow. Drink and never thirst again. Taste and see. Notice there has been no materialistic. Being blessed is being attached to the most high. A blessing, a blessing is the tightness of a cord, right? That's what it's talking about. The tightness, a cord pulled tight is straight. Y'all straightening out your path. Y'all putting you in righteous standing with him. Y'all aligning you according to his perfect and holy will. Baby, you're blessed. If a Jaguar come with it, cool. If a Hyundai come with it, great. As my daddy called him, if all you got is Pat and Joe, baby, bless ya. Yeah. Give him the praise, just do him. Stop equating a relationship with Yah to comfort. Stop equating a relationship with Yah to convenience. Stop relating a, a, a relationship with Yah to, uh, okay, I'll be happenstance and the happy, happiness is fleeting. That's an emotion, that's feeling. Those are fleeting. Joy, though, is everlasting. You can have joy and not have happiness because your joy is rooted in the most high. That's why a lot of people have a relationship with y'all to go like this. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. Yeah, because you ain't rooted. You're not rooted. Am I saying that every single day I wake up and I'm just like, nah. No, but I could be. I should be. I should be because my joy is for real. That's all I got. There is an extended idea of presenting a gift or giving honor to each other related to blessing, right? So that's why when we say when we bless, yeah, what do we do? We are extending or presenting a gift or giving of honor to him because he is worthy and it is just do him. Period. Just do him. So yeah, that's where we are today. This is a whole other hour. I'm, I'm probably going to have to, no, not probably. I'm going to have to divide this video because, <laughs> yeah. But all glory to the Most High. May the Most High bless us and keep us all. May we all be intentional about our own personal walks with the Most High and encouraging about the walks of others. Um, may we not be judgmental. May we not assume that we know more about what Yah is doing than what Yah does. And may we learn how to mind our own business in the most high and may we not make it about us okay may we stay focused and diligent in him and may we be uh continue continue on with him right like not be fleeting with our abba when things get rough and or when circumstances happen what else abba may we learn from our ancestors uh on that on an intimate level um may we look at their lives not only as things that happened but also look at them as people and understand the uh the narrative behind the written word and start seeing ourselves in these uh in our ancestors in their love in their circumstances in their situations in their perceptions in their in their thinking and man like may we be better as a people to each other for real. May we be better as a people to each other. And may we love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And may we love ourselves as Yah loves us. So that we can be that for each other. May we stop tearing each other down because of our own inability to be built up. So because I refuse to allow Yah to build me up, I'ma tear you down. May we stop being like that towards each other. May we be exactly who Yah has called us to be and give Yah permission to make us just that. Whatever the requirements are in order for us to be who Yah has created us to be, may we give him permission to take away and to add as he sees fit. And may he give us the strength to endure as he does that. 
Because it isn't going to be easy. Fighting isn't easy. If you if you've gotten in a fight and it was an easy win, you're you didn't fight a rightful opponent. May we love and be loved according to the will of our Abba, according to his power, according to his authority. May we choose life over death, obedience over sacrifice, truth over comfort, peace over being right, according to the will of our Abba. May he bless you, bless me, may he keep us. May we be the start or the continuing of his word within our families, within our jobs, within our, may it, may it be our job to push the word of the Most High. May it be our job to prioritize the word of the Most High. May it be our job, our intention, our focus, our priority to bring y'all glory to be a sign leading towards him and may we be diligent on our own straight and narrow path towards him and may we know that Yahushua HaMashiach has shown us exactly how to walk that thing out and may y'all continue to be the standard in our lives now who we see on the TV now who we see on our phone now who we see on our tablet now who we see next door now who we see down the street but May Yah continue to be our standard, and may Yah continue to be our inspiration, and may Yah continue to be our motivation, and may Yah continue to be our desire. And he, yeah, that's it. May He bless you, and may He keep you, and all connected to you, and may it also be for me. May He continue to bless me and keep me, and all connected to me, and may I continue to walk righteously before Him, and to be used as He sees fit. And may we all be surrounded by those person, places, things, thoughts, ideas, and desires that are of him and by him and from him and separate from everything that is not. May he be a hedge all around us, lifting us high above our enemies. And may we be humble and not call unclean that in which he has called clean. In regards to people, I'm not talking about food. Let me clarify. Thank you, Abba, because y'all be tripping. Read all of it, please. Anyway, when y'all places people in our life, things and situations, may we not call it, this is how you grieve the Ruach, may we not call it evil. May we not call it not a blessing. May we, not, may we just call our Abba in all things. Whether you think it's good or not, may we call our Abba on it because he is in control of everything. Yah is in control of your arm being broken and your arm being healed. And so when we see these things and we see these people, may we be like, you know what, Abba? You know how when that man threw the rock at David and his nephew was ready to kill him right there and he said, no, don't kill him because Yah has allowed him to do it. Yah going to shut his mouth in due, in due time. May we, may we have the type of courage to walk and live like that. And not worry about what other people are doing. May we worry about our own hearts and trust you. Because we shouldn't be trusting in man anyway. We shouldn't be looking at if man is going to be good to us or not. I trust Yah. And if Yah allowed you to be here, I'm trusting Yah for how he's going to allow this thing to play out. Because I'm walking with him. And I know he would never leave, lead me astray or leave or forsake me. So in that, Abba, I'm going to trust you. And if this person does something that is not of you, from you, and by you, According to my understanding, I know that you're going to reveal it to me. And not only will you reveal it to me, you're going to provide an exit, a way out, because you don't tempt. May our thinking be in alignment with Yah's word. May our hearts be in alignment with Yah's word. And may you be blessed according to the real definition of blessed. May you be tightly rooted in the word of the most high may be may you be on a straight and narrow path to the most high may he keep you strong and braided in him and that no one or anything can unbraid the braid in which yah has placed before you in you on you 
May you be yoked to our Abba. In the name of his son, Yahushua HaMashiach, the righteous one. Shalom.